Happy New Year! 2023 has only just started, and we're releasing the first update of the year for Fusion 360 manufacturing. To help with your productivity with the addition of new features and functions, aiming to increase your programming flexibility and efficiency. Let's jump right in and take a look at the enhancements that you can expect to see coming in this release. To start us off, Geometry and Stock Contour Feature Selection now has a new tabular approach which improves visualization and edits. Different types and combinations of selections including chains, face contours, pockets, sketch profiles, and silhouettes can be used for increased flexibility. Additionally, Geometry can be reused from a previous toolpath by selecting it from within the browser and applying it to another, creating an associative link automating the process of updating toolpaths if a design change were to occur. The experience when creating a complex machine tool in the Machine Builder has been greatly improved, with the ability to now split the kitomatic chain and an orientation drop-down menu. Static machine components are now definable as well, increasing the accuracy of collision checking, giving you confidence that your machining process is safe. Adding a network TOS machine tool in your facility has been streamlined using the machine connector, allowing you to quickly add it and its configuration to your local library. Inspection of additive parts is an important step after they've been built, where final part dimensions must be measured to ensure they meet the accuracy required by the customer. The ability to add a manual inspection routine just as you can in milling has now been added to the additive setup as well, allowing for the creation of a list of dimensional checks and their tolerances to be set. When the finished part is measured, the values can then be recorded. Results can then be visually shown, or a report can be created giving you confidence that the part meets the dimensional requirements. Certain additive technologies such as binder jetting require a final post-processing step as the part is in a green state after being built. During this process, supports may be beneficial to limit distortion. Center supports are a new support type which surround and support the part but are not physically attached. With dimension parameters and different infill patterns, the support structure you need can easily be created. Additionally, with the option to remove Z-overlap, supports are limited that could occur above the part geometry, allowing for easy final removal. In the nesting and fabrication workspace, Arrange now supports parameters and expressions to aid in the automation of your arrangement, increasing your productivity. When creating turning toolpaths, how the tool enters and exits the cut can be very crucial for tool wear and surface finish. Profile and Groove Finishing Toolpaths now have a new option in the Leads and Transitions dialog to use a fixed lead direction. When checked on, the angle value is based in respect to the Z-axis instead of the toolpath direction, increasing your flexibility when defining toolpath leads. During an additive powder metal build, the heat produced can cause distortion, creating a part that does not conform to its requirements, possibly fails completely, or even worse, distorts to the point at which the wiper has interference, causing machine damage, costing you time and money. Additive simulation calculates the build process, allowing you to detect potential issues and make informed decisions well before the actual build, increasing your productivity and profits. Having been in public preview for the last year, Additive Simulation has matured to now be released as part of the Additive Build extension. Defining tooling for CAM programming is crucial, but time consuming and filled with opportunities to make mistakes. The time spent searching and trying to decipher data for the correct information is a loss to your productivity. When using Dormer Promet tooling, an add-in is now available in the Fusion App Store, simplifying this process and increasing your CAM programming efficiency. From the add-in, search and filter for the tools you need by type and size, then quickly add them to your tooling library and setup. Suggested starting feeds and speeds are included as well by selecting the material type. Last year, the HP Printer app was introduced and has seen an update which allows it to resemble the web page interface more closely. All the most used features are now available at the forefront, meaning better decision making on what thermal compensation to use and easier access to specifying materials and profiles. Two new public preview features have been added to this release. As always, feel free to get feedback in the Fusion 360 forums as you try them out. When 3D printing multiple parts at the same time, positioning them on the build plate is an important step in your setup workflow. Additive Arrange has been added to the setup to aid in the automation of this workflow, increasing your productivity. Checked on by default, once your initial setup is complete, the Arrange dialog is presented automatically, allowing you to select between a 2D or a 3D arrangement and set other important parameters such as spacing and clearances. Once completed, the arrangement is added to the setup in the browser, allowing for easy editing if needed. Overhanging geometry typically needs to be supported during the added build process. If there happens to be part geometry below this overhang, 
then there's a potential that the supports can be created between these two areas. While this will build the part successfully, the finish of the lower area will be decreased and most likely require additional post-processing to remove these supports. Angled supports allow for overhangs to be supported, but instead be created from less important areas such as the build plate. With the use of graphical handles and dialog inputs, the location and angle of these support structures can easily be defined. This leads to increases in the quality of the part build finish and productivity. Thanks for watching this update for manufacturing. Make sure to watch the design and electronics videos as well. Also, don't forget to check out the blog post to learn more about what else is new in Autodesk Fusion 360.